Hi guys, how are you? Uh, Mark here. Uh, wanted to talk to you a little bit about the Samsung Gear 2 smartwatch. Um, nice little watch. I'll do a close up, a little close up review of it for you so you can see it. Um, again, I wanted to show it working. It does work fine. There's no issues, no problems, no concerns with it. Works great. It comes with a health and safety and <laughs> warranty guide along with a quick reference booklet. Tells you anything you want to know, change the bands, whatever. Um, I will show that again when I get do the close-up review. Of course, the charger, charger cable, and uh, but that there you go. Just going to do a little review on this. If you like watches, it is on the big side. Takes a little bit getting used to. Monitors your heart rate. You can play music through it, and like I said, I will do a close-up view of that as well. But uh, it does take some getting used to because it's very big on the wrist. So if you like watches, you'll love this watch because it is a great watch. You can get messages on it. You can take phone calls on it. You can call people on it. You can check weather on it. Whatever, whatever you can do pretty much on your phone, you can do with this watch. And it does sync very, very well with any Samsung product. So if you have uh, any Samsung Galaxy phone, I have the Note 4. I've used it now for, I want to say, five, six months I've used it, and it worked well for me. I just, I'm not a watch person, so I kind of got tired of it and let it sit, so it's been sitting here now, not being used, probably for the last two months, so it's time for me to get rid of it, because I don't see any reason, this, this watch, and you can look right now on Best Buy, this is the Gear 2, not the Neo, this is the Gear 2, it has the little pick little camera up here on the top I've used it once or twice I'm not gonna talk real good about the camera because it's like two megapixel or something it's not that good but uh, it is if you know if you're out somewhere pictures on the go you can just snap a button take a picture and you're done I haven't used that I think you see I don't even know I've had it for a while and I don't even know I think you could take video clips with it but I think it's only like 15 second video clips something like that it's real short of course there's a hack to it you can people have already uh there's ways to download where you can record up to a minute or i don't know how long you can check into that if that's your thing um, as i said the camera on it is not that good it's okay it's mediocre but heck your front facing camera on your phone is probably better than the camera on that but that being said it is still a very good watch if you are into that kind of thing and syncs very well with Samsung products. Other products I can't really talk about because I don't know how well it works with any, you know, LG phone or any HTC phones. I, I don't know. I just know it works well with Samsung because I've been using it with that and it works great. So there it is. That's, uh, that's the Gear 2. And I will do a close-up review of it right now. Okay, so let's get right into this. Uh, close-up view of the Samsung Gear 2. Um, as I said earlier, I am going to be selling this smartwatch. Uh, right now it currently sells for $299 at Best Buy. Uh, I'm not sure what I'm going to ask. Uh, probably around $100, maybe $120, something like that. I paid more for it. I did not pay retail because I bought this used as well. But here's you see the watch and it's currently uh, green background didn't really prepare too much but uh, anyway as you can sell you see that it's it's fully functional very nice watch I uh, I got it and I've wore it for a while but uh, kind of didn't uh, I'm not a big watch fan and I've never really wore watches too much but uh, wore this for a little while liked it but um, just didn't I don't know. Just kind of got tired of it, I guess. Got bored of it. But anyway, here we go. Here's what's included. Uh, you get a health and safety and warranty guide, blah, blah, blah. Um, this is the quick reference manual. It has all kinds of stuff in here. Basically, it shows you how to charge the device. shows you basically how to put a band on it. The original band that came with it, which was this one that had the clasp on it, I don't have that band. There's a band that somebody put on it that I still have. Um, it tells you how to change, shows you how to change the band, how to connect to your Bluetooth, um, viewing from your home screen, applications, blah, blah, blah. You know, normal manual crap, which most, most people never read anyway. So let's set that to the side. 
And here is the charger that you get with the watch, the little Samsung logo on there. I don't know if that's even in focus, but, and then of course the charging cord. I was, when I was using this, I was getting roughly three days on a single charge. And that was playing with it from time to time, but not, uh, not all the time. And also I do have the settings down on, uh, I think I have it on two. Let me see, um, display. Yeah, the brightness I think I have set on two, which is dim, because you can go all the way up to six, which is very, very bright, which is called outdoor mode. But I noticed if you want to save your battery life, two is one of the best to keep it at. So, and there's all kinds of stuff. Basically, this is basically like a smartphone, really, just a, it's a smart watch. You could change the font in there, you can have a wake up gesture. There's a lot of different things you can do. And always kind of like your phone, to go back, you can always have your home button here. You know, you get into wherever you want to be. You can make phone calls with it, of course, right there. And you want to go back, you can just swipe down, and it goes back to the previous screen. Your notifications, basically when you get an email, it'll notify you, when you get a text message or a messenger. And I do know that these work really well with any Samsung phone. Um, as far as Apple, they do not work with Apple phones, unfortunately, but, uh, I think other phones they do, but don't, I'm not sure about that. It does have a camera on it. This is not the Neo watch. The Samsung Neo watch does not have the camera, but to be totally honest with you, I might've used the camera a few times, not many times. Um, it's only like a two megapixel camera, I think, or might not even be that much 1.6 or something like that, but Anyway, um, and there's apps you can get, do the remote control, which I have used, music player, which is okay. I have some music on it. Let's see. You can probably hear that. Not very loud, but anyway, there's that. S voice, which is basically you could search for anything on the internet and it'll pull it up for you. Voice memos. Air pedometer. I just turned this on, so probably don't have any steps, which I don't. <laughs> Uh, exercises, you could set this while you are running, walking, cycling, hiking. Um, your heart rate, it does have a heart rate monitor back here. It'll also monitor your sleep as well. Basically when you go to sleep, you just turn this on, you push start, and it monitors your sleep for you. It tells you the times that you're waking, you're awake while you're supposed to be sleeping. Um, other than that, it's, it's, it's nice, I just, it wasn't for me. Um, I do have apps on here. I have some golf apps. This is the text messaging app that you can get for this. It's free through the app store. It's Flesky Messenger. <clears throat> but you can text with it. I just noticed it's very, very small keyboard on here. You have to be real, and I got big fingers. So it's hard to text on that. Um, let's see what else was in the app store. Let's go back to the apps right here. There's a calculator, which I used a couple times before, but again, the buttons are fairly small on the calculator. They do work. Um, I had Gear Navigator, basically. It's a, kind of, it's a GPS, basically, on your watch. One thing I will say, this it, it works very well when you're driving because, you know, you could just answer it when it's on your wrist instead of grabbing your phone. But when you get this, basically, you're going to want to get your... Let me grab my phone here and show you. There's an app you can get called Samsung Gear, right? Which is, well, let's pull it up a little closer. The Samsung Gear app right there. Focus. Okay, well, it's called Samsung Gear. I don't think you could see it real well. But anyway, you tap on that, and basically your whole gear, your settings and everything come up. You could set it with this. You could set which notifications you want. Currently, I have 15 of them selected on here um you can limit them you can do a smart relay you can preview the message which will come up on your watch when it comes up and you can turn your screen off if you want so it doesn't happen here's the home screen styler you could change like if watch if i wanted to change this watch the watch say click that now watch my watch it automatically clicks up to whatever you want you can have that set on whatever you want to set it at really if you know you like that color you could set it there you like that one it'll set it there 
Um, you can also customize it, put your own whatever you want on there. I had that on there for a little while. I was always one that would, uh, let's go back to just the regular color. Let's go back to the neon green. I would always actually, um, you could change the clock settings too. You don't have to have the same thing that I have on here. They changed all kinds of different settings. But uh, I would always wear um, whatever shirt I was wearing. Oops, I just hit the tripod, didn't I? Whatever shirt I was wearing, it's kind of stupid, but I liked it. I would take a picture with my phone of my shirt that I was wearing, whatever color it was, and then I would put the color on there. So my phone or my watch always matched my shirt. I know, goofy and dumb, but that's kind of what I did. But anyway, um, there is the review. I'm not sure of the technical stats on it. I will post them on here so you guys can see them at the end of the video. And um, that's about it. Oh, charging, I guess I should show you this. Basically, it has little charging pins right here on the back. And what you want to do on the charger, you see little charging pins there. You just want to kind of line those up on the back and push it real hard. It's actually kind of hard, but you line them up. See, I'm not really getting it. <laughs> there you go, you hear it snap. Now your charging cord plugs in right here onto the end. If I can find it. Like, okay, anytime. There we go. Just like that. Plug that into the wall, you're good to go. You could charge it again. Again, like I said, I was getting about three days a single charge out of it. But of course, if you are like me, and when I first got it, I was going about two days because I was constantly on it. So most of the time you'll three, if you turn it down to one on the brightness, you could probably go five days with it if you don't use it much. Um, but anyway, there you go. That's it. It's the Samsung Gear 2 smartwatch. Okay guys, so there you have it. That is the little review on the Samsung Gear 2 smartwatch that I am selling. Um, I'm probably going to ask $100 for it, uh, and I won't take less, so I know I'm going to have offers of, hey, I'll give you $80 for it right now. The answer is no, I'll keep it for that. Um, it's a $300 watch, so I at least want $100 for it. I'm also going to accept some some trades, possibly. Um, we can work out the details. I'll give you a deal. Some things I'm looking for are, uh, I need RAM for my desktop computer. I have a Dell Optiplex. 780 and it takes a DDR3 SD RAM uh, 240 pin PC 10600 is the RAM I need right now I have 5 gigs in there and I don't need any 1 gig sticks but I'm looking for 4 gig sticks or possibly a couple twos if you have it um, some of you may have that laying around if you do then let me know we'll make a deal um, also looking for 3 Xbox 360 games I'm looking for uh, Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. I'm looking for Call of Duty Black Ops 2. Um, again, I can buy that software for under hundred dollars, so we'll we'll make a deal. Um, let me know what you got, and uh, we'll see what we can do. Um, only other Xbox 360 game that I am interested in is Madden 2016. Again, I've seen that for fifty dollars, but uh, we'll make a deal. Um, let me know what you have. Uh, only other thing I could think of that I'm interested in is uh, any photo software, uh, video editing software. Maybe you have an old Photoshop software sitting around not being used. I'll take something like that. Uh, let's see what else. If you have like a video editing software, like I'm actually looking for uh, Sony Vegas, uh, Sony Vegas Pro software. Again, that software. Now, if you get into Photoshop, you're looking at expensive software. So. Um, let me know what you have. If you have anything, let me know. Um, at least I could say, you know, I was, uh, hey, you know, throw me this and maybe 20 bucks here or something, you know. I, who knows? We'll see. But uh, that's the only trades. I'm not looking for your laptops. I'm not looking for your stereos. I'm not looking for your car audio. I'm not looking for your tools. I'm not looking for your RC planes or your RC cars or dirt bikes or mini bikes or scooters and I've been on Craigslist enough. I know how this works. I throw trades out there, and that word trade just goes crazy. People want to give me car audio, and hey, I got this huge amp and these kicker boxes and subs. I, no, I don't want it. I don't want it, and I don't need it. Um, that's the trades I'm willing to do. Uh, if you're interested in the Samsung Gear 2 smartwatch, let me know. And uh, 
we'll hook up on a deal or hundred dollars cash works too so all right hey uh thanks for watching and i look forward to hearing from you thank you bye